Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Priscilla and I live full time in a minivan with my Aussie girl Breve. So far, one year. So if you're interested, we keep on watching. So come on in as I take you on a tour of my home I like to call Transcendence. Building out the van during quarantine was the best thing I did. So I will start with the front window screens. Keeps the bugs out. I also did some screening on this window on her side. Each side of the van, I can access all my things here. And I covered it up so it won't look so shabby. I have my extension cord there, my water supply, pots, pans, plates. What it looks like in the back when I fold the futon over and I'll show you how it looks when it's open. I'm going to fill this with pebbles and sand and shells, things that I pick up from parks, beaches and travels. I love it. I thought it was pretty cool. This is my trunk where I store and that was just some extra carpet that I used to keep it covered. And there's one of my little stools. I found those at the flea market and changed the fabric to a denim to kind of match. Back here I made a trap door so this is the other side. I did this for Breve, her little bed. It's really cushiony. She loves that. She's got her little seat belt harnessed. She's always wearing that. Keep my baby safe. Put some Reflectix up there. Keep it cooler or warmer. Here I have my fanny pack for when we go on hikes or little walks. And she's got her leash, another leash, her ball, her favorite. And this is another um, leash for, it's like, I believe this one's like 13 feet, 10 feet, I don't know, something like that. And so she can stay close. Right now I have her on this one and she's right there hanging out. Say hello. And back there are my dressers. And here I keep my tops, bottoms. I have some kitchen gadgets there. My stove. This here is for where I hook up my table. Here I have pajamas. And here this is all of Breve's vitamins and her towels and bandanas. Yeah, I have some more tops and PJs and things. Got my water supply, some frying pans, pots in here, colander, plates, the carbon monoxide, alarms and fire alarms. This one tends to go off quite off kitchen slash studio and I hook my phone camera up there fridge slash freezer right now I have it on freezer mode because I have um Breve's uh, beef in there nice and frozen keep it safe because she's in a raw diet and I might put these beads up I have a little light under there but here I have some groceries along with extras in the back. My 
detergent and towels. And this one I have electronics and chargers, extra ones and whatnots. Breve's little stuffy, she loves that bunny. And then here, I made this guy here to cover this stuff. I have my toiletry bag there, my coffee maker and some books, storage here, DVD player, some storage bins here, but more storage, socks and underwear. My spices and seasonings are in these little tins, these little plastic tins, and they're Velcro down. So I can sit up in the back there and I like to re relax with my puppy and she fits. We fit perfectly on there. See? And this is the mattress that I made. It's the futon. It's microfiber on one side and the sleeping bag. The fun part is I can change it to any color I want. Have my fire extinguisher. The armrests become the legs once it's opened and at night time my facilities go here these is for whenever i need it <laughs> this is the back when it's in lounge mode i have them the back held by these ropes and these screws here on both sides and it works perfect it's Pretty strong and to put it in bed mode I just pop this one off and I pop this one off and put it down and it fits perfect space for my blanket and my pillows just my linens at night time Breve likes to sleep on the floor, so this pillow goes there for her, and she loves it. Then here I have some storage behind the seats, also on the other side, behind the seats, holds quite a bit. Now my little mat goes here. I can step on the, pla on the, the mat without having to take my shoes off. And it works. This is an indoor outdoor carpet, so I can sanitize it, deodorize it, clean it up. Really cool. Here I am on cook mode. And I I'm very careful to make sure these are tucked in the back. And then with this here, I can pull these down and out of the way. So when I'm cooking, the flames won't touch anything and I am so careful I do not move from this spot when I'm using the stove hell no under here on the side of the bed I have these um, jars filled with dry goods I'll show you how I pull them out of there yep fairly easy and I got the bumpers since they're glass and easy to put right back and that's it then I have these to hold things in place keep things from falling out on the ceiling I have reflectix and then I put my tapestry I am so proud of this little window unit here took two tries and about 50 trips to the Dollar Tree <laughs> so down here I have my silverware straws steak knives chopsticks these are some of my favorite chopsticks I got these in Virginia Beach at a fall place oh I love let me show you something that's back here this is so cool I'm very proud of this <laughs> this is my table so that's how my table sets up.
behind the driver's seat, I have another stool if I need it. And then I have this bed pan. <laughs> yep, my daughter bought this for my mom, but mom doesn't use it, so I figured why not? It works. I won't say it's for emergencies. It's for when you gotta go. You gotta go. <laughs> if you make it a big deal, then it's a big deal. But yeah, hey, it's better than going on yourself. <laughs> and that tucks right under here. And that right there. Just plug this in. When I'm in, plugged into shore power and on drive mode I have this one and I plug it in just put it here plug it right in for when I'm driving yep I think that's it hope I covered everything if you have any questions please let me know and I will respond